It's critical to keep that in mind and establish personal boundaries. Ask any introvert in your area and they will explain just how crucial it is to safeguard your emotional energy and interpersonal boundaries. We can help you distinguish between appropriate boundaries and requests that might be unreasonable if you're unsure of what boundaries to set. It takes more effort and may seem strange at first, but it's crucial to preserve your mental health in advance. So in this video, we are going to talk about the boundaries for women at work. So let's get started. Number 1. Physical Boundaries Let's begin with the exterior bounds. Why? It stands to reason that if you're experiencing difficulties establishing physical boundaries at work, then all your boundaries are probably being violated. Give handshakes instead of hugs. No work events should be attended after 7 o'clock p.m. Take a solitary stroll after lunch, maybe with your favorite podcast. Say no to weekend employment. Make use of your sick and mental health days. Have a tell to indicate to other staff members that you are occupied. Number 2. Mental Boundaries Mental energy is crucial, and it can be swiftly depleted by nonsense, as anyone who has struggled through the 3 o'clock p.m. slump all the way to 6 o'clock p.m. can attest. To protect your mental energy, observe the boundaries listed below. Establish and adhere to your working hours. Refuse to attend unnecessary meetings and encourage management to run more efficient meetings. When working intensively, turn off the messages. Everything that can be construed as gossip should be avoided, especially when it involves coworkers. Number 3. Emotional Boundaries Although it might be challenging to identify emotional boundaries, this practice is extremely important. Setting emotional boundaries enables you to stop letting the terrible day of another person influence your own. This does not imply that you abandon empathy or comprehension. Instead, it implies that you can keep your head down the next time Bill is ranting and throwing his papers around in his office. Other instances of emotional boundaries at work are shown below. Be clear about your preferences for providing and receiving feedback. Do not adopt someone else's negative attitude or rant. Assign tasks as needed. Make a schedule that gives the balance of work and life priority. Number 4. Assess your personal boundaries first. You'll need to take the time to evaluate them, their boundaries and how to set them before communicating your boundaries. Your principles and top priorities in life will determine your own boundaries. Any profession that is worth having acknowledges that it is, first and foremost, a job in our humble opinion. Aside from your job, you also need to think about your personal space, relationships, pastimes, and home life. In her book From Stress to Centered, Dr. Dana Jonta provides a step-by-step -step procedure for determining personal boundaries at work, know your limitations, pay close attention to your emotions, let yourself establish boundaries, think about your surroundings. Number 5. Keep your relationships professional. We all enjoy having a work spouse or BFF, but these relationships may occasionally get complicated from a boundary viewpoint. Now, we're not arguing that you shouldn't have a close friend or confidant at work. We're warning you to keep your interactions with coworkers, for the most part, professional. It's crucial to distinguish between your friends and your employees, as challenging as it may appear to some, especially to our extroverted pals. Setting boundaries is beneficial to both you and the people you work with. Any challenging or uncomfortable work conditions can be made easier if you establish clear limits and adhere to them consistently. You must express your boundaries to your coworkers in unambiguous terms in order to establish professional boundaries. For instance, if a coworker loves to chat after lunch, but you need to get work done, gently remind them that while you enjoy talking to them, you really need the afternoon to do some heads-down work. Have a discussion about it if you believe there is a persistent issue. Discuss your feelings with your coworker, then provide some suggestions. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative and amazing videos. Thank you for watching.